Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel One on One. Blender Market is giving away another asset, and uh, this is Shader Plus. This is something I've wanted to get quite a lot, and uh, yeah, we're going to explore it and see how you can use it. So previously they gave out Burger Pie, Better Lighting, Divine, Chat Companion, Population, and Retop of Flow, and today they are giving away Shader Plus which is a collection of advanced blender shaders let's claim shader plus and see how you can use it and it comes with uh, quite a few shaders if you want more you can get the paid version you can see there are quite a few downloads the main one you want to get is this this is the add-on here and the others are just example project files that we're going to take a look at as well so after you get that installation is similar to how you install any add-on just to just go and edit preferences and then install the add-on you won't find it in the side panel here it's always in the shader because this is a shader based add-on so if you want to use it uh, just set up a new material so for example i added a torus here in uh, my scene this is a project we did a few years ago so i've just added a torus without any materials make sure you add shade smooth and maybe even add a subdivision surface to make the surface look even more smoother uh, then we can create a new material and to access the add-on shaders you can just use shift a and you'll see that you have a shader plus uh option uh, where you have all these shaders they are quite interesting uh, some are simple shaders some are really really uh great shaders so we can i want to go directly into the more interesting ones like uh, the glossy and glass so let's start with the glass shader you start with this uh, it's just a, a, a group node if you tab into that you can even explore how they set it up but uh, yeah to use this just plug this into the surface of the material output i'm just going to use ctrl shift and then click on this so that i can see this so right away you can see that this looks a bit different from the glass we are used to so uh you have caustics and uh, you can even make those more powerful and uh, yeah you have glass dispersion dispersion this will just make the glass refract colors at different angles uh what i like about this most is this thin thin film effect so if i let me first bring the, the dispersion down because it's quite heavy uh, so let me bring the thin film you can see how it adds that uh rainbow effect into into the glass yeah that's something you don't get with regular glass that's why i like uh, this this add-on is packed with things like this uh, so i can even add another layer of these effects like that if you go back to shader plus we are looking at the glass shaders and you can see they are quite a lot now uh, this looks like uh frosted glass you can still edit these uh, i think there is dispersion internal something remember you're just getting the free version so if you get the paid version you can you're going to get a lot more than what we are looking at here uh we can also look at the glossy shader uh especially the thin film option so if i re reduce the roughness quite a bit here and bring up the thin film you can see this is like uh metal that has been heated uh it creates these banded uh rainbow effects uh, called thin, thin film and yeah they they create re really interesting uh, materials uh let's see we have refraction transparency i like this transparency rainbow uh, so you don't really see much but uh when you bring bring the thin film up you can see that uh, it creates this so if you're trying to create a bubble you can have something like that and maybe you can use a regular glossy shader blend it to just reduce the roughness and uh, you can get some reflection so this is a, a nice way a, a quick way to create a bubble so without the glossy uh you get just the thin film and uh, if you mix in a glossy shader uh, you can get uh, something like that that's shader plus you can get it for free on blender market right now uh, so let's explore these some of these extra files that come with the iron so you can see here uh, they have this blade runner scene and uh, the, the, there's a lot you can learn out of this this object you can see that this is always in front of the camera and if i slide it up a bit i just move this on the you can see that uh it creates it's just 
adding let me come here and see if uh, there is anything I can add to it. So this is just a plane with a, a refraction chromatic aberration shader. And uh, it you can basically layer different effects onto this. Uh, it's a transparency layer with, with uh, different effects. So uh, if you want to add basically compositing directly in your viewport, and uh, you can choose what parts get what color all uh, right so just look at that can make it even look a bit more rough yeah these setups can teach you quite a lot i uh, can see how they are producing let me first remove uh, this reset this you can see they even have these layers to produce uh, these caustics so if i remove one by one you can see we lose that caustic reflections basically they are creating a water effect an underwater scene and uh, this is how they're doing it this is the setup they have it's just a lot of things you could learn you can look at their uh, the shader setup they're doing if you want to that's a lot of notes but uh, if you want to explore that you can do that as well uh, anyway they have another scene they give away this is a pole scene with uh, caustics reflecting onto the surface if you play back this is also animated so you can explore how they did that as well uh then lastly i think they have another shader another project file i think i didn't download that but if you want you can download that and uh, it's called the what was it under under ocean caustics example you can also explore that and uh, look at uh, that so anyway that's it if you want to explore that links are going to be in the description uh make sure to subscribe to get notified when they are giving away these so that you don't lose out on any thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video